Are you tired of playing your PC games with a controller and mouse? Or a controller that only gives you half the options that you need to play? Now all your problems can be solved with the new Steam Controller! <sighs> The new Steam Controller costing $49.99 will be released on November 10th. And if you pre-order now, you can receive a free copy of Rocket League and Portal 2. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me, because those are both amazing games. You can also pre-order the Steam Link and Controller Bundle. I haven't even had coffee today. I don't know why I'm being so weird. So why do you need to order the new Steam Controller? Most of us have been using other controllers on our PC for years now. Well, for starters, the new Steam Controller can let you play your entire Steam game collection with a fully customizable controller that can also act as a keyboard and mouse. How cool is that? The Steam Controller was built to allow you to explore all of the past games created along with all of the future games. That means that you can play virtually any game created with the Steam Controller, even if it wasn't designed to play with the controller. The controller was designed for you to experience a new level of precise control while gaming, something those other controllers just can't give you. The Steam Controller features dual track pads, HD haptic feedback, dual stage triggers, back grip buttons, and fully customizable control schemes. You can find your favorite mappings in the Steam community or create and share your own. I got my hands on a Steam Controller earlier this week and I have to say that I quite like it. The controller still has a really comfortable feel but it has a little bit more ergonomics in mind. The handles curve upward a little bit which puts your thumbs right in place over the touch pads. And the touch pads are really smooth and they rely on haptic feedback for resistance. You can actually feel little vibrations as your thumb moves across the touch pad which also helps keep your thumb from just like whoop, sliding off. Using the buttons down at the bottom and the left joystick do feel a little bit awkward at first but I did read that after continued use you do get used to them and they're comfortable with no problems. The one thing that the controller is missing is a headset connection. So if you're looking to use a headset, you're gonna have to opt for a wireless version or one with a really long cord. Which, I mean, it's not like we use those anyways, right? Huh? Huh? You also might be wondering how the controller is supposed to replace a keyboard and mouse. Sounds complicated, right? Well, along with customization, the right touchpad can be used as your mouse button or your mouse as it virtually works the same, you're just using your thumb instead. And then they have an on-screen way that you can use it as a keyboard. I, I don't know, I haven't tried it. It might work, you know? doing things. I'm great at explaining things. Like I said before, the Steam Controller is the most universal controller to date, allowing you to customize it for any game. Every button on the Steam Controller is remappable for you to get your best gameplay just for you for every game. And I could go into all the customization stuff, but I probably won't explain it as a lot of other people already have. So if you can check the description box below for me, I will link some resources where you can find out everything that you need to know, M maybe. And if you've been sitting here this whole time saying, but Brit, you haven't even showed us how we can play on our TV. And you're right. So that is where the Steam Machine or yesterday's Steam Link will come into use. You will also need an excellent internet connection, preferably hardwired. And just like the Xbox and PlayStation controllers, there's gonna be a little button right in the center that has the Steam logo. And once you press that, it will open up the Steam Link menu. This is where you find your Steam library, the community, the store, and where you want to customize your controller, which you will find all of that directly to your computer if you just play with your computer. So the controller programs, are actually already on there and it'll work flawlessly with your computer just with your TV you will need a Steam Link or something of that nature. So FPS, action, strategic, RPG, just about every game type is playable on the controller. It's up to your playing expertise and the actual game that will determine whether or not you are going to be the PC champion that you usually are while playing with the Steam controller. Like everything new there are things for Valve to learn and improve upon so hopefully they will continue releasing some firmware updates and implement the feedback from every Everyone using the controller and keep on making it more and more awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you're gonna get the Steam controller and if you're gonna get the Steam link and how you're feeling about it, if you're excited, if you hate it, if you think it's a great idea or a bad idea. 
discuss down below in the comments. And don't forget that I have linked some resources for you to check out in the description. Along with all of my links, you can find me at my channel and my Twitter and all that good stuff down there. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye! Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.